Meet Hannah Whitfield, born Hannah Stranod, a woman with a personal history that is both dark and disturbing. Expelled from Scientology in 1982, Hannah Whitfield has spent the years since attacking the church. In December 1986, Whitfield and five other expelled former members concocted a scheme to take control of the church and its assets, filing a $1 billion lawsuit. That's one billion with a B. But the scheme failed and the case never got past the first step of court proceedings. It didn't make it any further the next time she filed it either, or the next, or the next, or the next. In total, Hannah Whitfield's lawsuit against the church was dismissed six times for failure to even state a legitimate claim. The judge ruling that there are no facts that can be truthfully alleged. But Whitfield and her co-conspirators weren't done. They then tried to appeal and they lost again. After this plot flopped, Hannah Whitfield changed her tactics. Now, instead of taking over the Church of Scientology from within, Whitfield would try to destroy it from without. Whitfield's new undertaking became counseling people who were considering getting out of Scientology or other new religions. But Whitfield was in fact a paid deprogrammer in the now defunct Cult Awareness Network, a criminal organization active in the seizure, forcible detention, imprisonment, beatings, and traumatization of thousands of individuals. Many of its members have been arrested and convicted of assault, battery, and kidnapping. But only after the bankruptcy of her criminal deprogramming group and her failed billion dollar lawsuit did the church discover Hannah Whitfield's darkest secret of all. In the 1960s, a young Hannah Stranod claimed to have escaped her traumatic family situation to become a nurse in Johannesburg, South Africa. What she failed to say is that this so-called traumatic family situation was a conspiracy with her mother and brother to murder her father. She would reveal it all to her now ex-husband. And uh, after we've been dating for a fair number of months, we made pretty specific statements. And those statements added up to uh, she, in conspiracy with her mother, uh, planned and arranged to kill her father, Charles Stranod. Uh, she folded up on it and didn't actually execute it. She almost killed him. She was within seconds of doing so, but did not. But even if Hannah Stranod got cold feet, her brother carried through on their plan. And while her brother was brought up on charges and ultimately convicted, he stood trial alone. As for Hannah Stranod, she fled the country and changed her name. She did not really want to go back to face the press and she changed her name to avoid it. And she was pretty unwilling to go back. She then married an American to make certain she would never have to return, and in the process changed her name yet again. And all of this kept secret from the church and only discovered after her failed lawsuit to take over the church and line her pockets with a cool billion. Years later, Hannah Stranod Strachan Eltringham Whitfield tries to find a sympathetic ear in blaming the church for what she calls her shattered mental state. This is a woman who admitted to plotting a murder, worked with a deprogramming organization, and unsuccessfully tried to sue the church no fewer than seven times. So here's what we have. Hannah Whitfield, a greedy, deceitful woman with a dark past.